Welcome to the Advice Smith. My name is Robin Clifford, and in this video, I'll be going over the forging of square points. Let's jump right into it. For the first point, I use 10mm mild steel round bar, which is 25 64th thick mild steel in inches. Pull it out the fire at a bright yellow heat and holding it at a rough 45 degree angle to the hammer and the anvil. Then for every hit on the steel, you should turn it once clockwise or anti-clockwise. Since I am familiar with the technique, I am able to hit it multiple times before turning it. The principle is still the same as long as you keep it evenly distributed on each side. And there you have a very simple square point. Next, I demonstrate how to turn that square point into a rounded point. This is done by hitting each of the sharp edges, creating an eight-sided octagon on the square point. This is not visually clear as the camera is not the best quality, and I will explain this further later. Here I will demonstrate exactly the same technique on much larger material. This is 20mm square bar or 13 sixteenths. Because the material is much larger, it is easier to see the 45 degree angle between the hammer and the anvil. The end of the bar was not clean and nice to begin with, and it shows that with careful forging you can still get a square point out of it. Again, the initial forging is done at a high yellow heat. As a beginner, you should work the metal as hot as you feel comfortable, as it will be much easier to forge at a higher heat. I'll also demonstrate forging this larger point into a round point, as it is easier to see with the blows hitting the sharp edges of the square point whilst keeping it at a 45 degree angle. So you have an 8 sided point, you gently hit it whilst rotating it slowly. This is usually done at a red to black heat, as the cooler the steel is, the harder it is. The smaller the hammer marks become, the colder the temperature that you work at. Hence the names black heat and planishing heat. Those are used to do the final detailing on a really smooth point that you need a very good finish on. Note that at a black heat it should still be hot enough to burn, but not hot enough to be seen glowing. Now using the same material as before, I shall be demonstrating what is known as a diamond point. This is a decorative point used in traditional blacksmithing. Forged the same way as the standard square point, except it is started on the very corner of the square bar, forging the point opposite to the corners of the original bar, creating something that looks like a diamond facet.
One of the more challenging parts of this point is getting the flat side of the square bar into the transition of the corner of the point. Careful forging was required to keep it looking even. The technique to create a square point is the same no matter what size the material is you are forging. To prove this, I shall now forge a square point on inch or 25mm round. To begin breaking down the stock, I switch to a much larger hammer than my regular 2 pound cross peen. Forging larger stock by hand is much more time and energy consuming. For something this size, I would usually use the power hammer. Once I have taken the initial size down, I then swap over to my 2 pound cross peen, as it is quicker to swing and faster to work with. Here are all the points that we have covered next to each other to give you an idea of scale between sizes. As an afterthought, I decided to also include how to forge flat bar into a square point. This material is 20 by 10 millimeter flat bar, or 25 64ths by 13 sixteenths. When forging a square point on flat bar, you need to strike the thicker side of the material much more than the thinner side to get an even point. This means it is more likely to slightly upset at the back of the point as there is more material going in on two sides as seen here. This will need to be corrected later. Thanks for watching my first video guys. If you found it informative, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll catch you next time.